Hey everyone and welcome to this brand new episode of the Crypto Intel. My name is Mark and in this episode we're checking out the Bitcoin. Yes, the BTC, I do not review it a lot of times on the Crypto Intel, but I definitely think that we can review it and have a look at the current pricing and where it's going. All right, so without further ado, let's just check it out. And by the way, if you're holding on to the Bitcoin or if you're flipping it uh, or exchanging it against other altcoins, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never ever miss out on any episodes regarding this interesting crypto asset because definitely the bitcoin is the king of them all uh it's been traded at 4.3 billion dollars just in the past 24 hours which is not bad right and by the way me i trade since already four years and you can see all of my trades right here live it's on the bottom link um it's actually under this video in the description you can follow me on flipchain that way you'll be able to see all of my flips my crypto assets and what i'm doing here and the demos and the simulations that I'm doing here, already 41 followers, thank you to everyone. It's been just three days that I've put this uh, page up on Flipchain so that anyone can follow uh, me in all transparency and see my simulations and real crypto asset flips. All right, guys, so um, what we'll do today in this video is really interesting. We'll, we're going to simulate uh, the different pricings. So we're going to use, of course, Flipchain for that. And uh, we're going to simulate a bearish run and a bullish run. Uh, and we're going to try to understand where the price is going to head over to and how we can make extra money here with this uh, crypto asset if you're actually flipping it. And you know what? The Bitcoin is rather interesting because it has huge, huge cycles. And these cycles, like you cannot miss them even if you're uh, not wearing glasses. <laughs> so here, actually, we're going through an interesting volume oscillator endpoint at minus 22 so you can see that we hit it right here. It was at minus 22. And I'm currently, by the way, sitting on the um, candlesticks view for the one week uh, view. So this is very important. We're looking at uh, weekly stats here. So if I'm going to zoom in, uh, you're going to see here that you had also a very low uh, volume oscillator endpoint at minus 26 here. And you can see what happened here. Um, there was a drop. So be very careful for when this happens uh, if we look here there was also a mega drop uh, if we look here actually it reversed okay and when we look here well what will happen well this really depends on so many factors guys for example the macd is telling us a lot like a lot for example when you're at the peak of, of a mountain for example of the macd and you're going downhill you can see that there's this huge price difference going on and look you also have this type of indicator right here. So as you're going from this top of the mountain until this one here, you see that there's a price dump. So even if it crosses the uh, neutral position at zero units. So very, very interesting uh, moving average convergence divergence indicator uh, mathematics and unit economics here that we're looking at. So uh, the most important part actually is looking at the cycles right here. So have a look. So for example, you see you have two buy cycles for the previous two weeks and then two sell cycles and then one uh, buy cycle, two sell cycles, three. So you see there's like a cycle going on and this cycle, once you understand it, it is going to play in your favor because look, if we switch over to the daily view, we're actually going to see the cycles way more. So you see here, uh, for example, a lot of red cycles, and then um, it translated into micro pumps right here. <laughs> it wasn't really helpful for anyone, though, this huge uh, price loss, unfortunately. Anyways, uh, look here also, same thing. You see there was a lot of losses uh, as it was going down, and people recovered with some buy cycles here. So same thing is going to happen right now. Like We're looking at a lot of buy cycles right now, and unfortunately, because of that, there's going to be equilibrium and it's going to dump. We have a really, really good example right here. You see multiple buy cycles and then multiple sell cycles. Like that's just the way that crypto works. So uh, also we have the KDGs that we need to check out. Like this is a, one of the most important parts of uh, crypto. So KDGs, as it oversells or over buys itself, it crisscrosses itself in the three lanes right here. So for example, um let me just see here if it was at yeah you know 20 approximately it would signal that it was oversold now if it was at um the bottom 
80 plus it basically tells us that it is overbought so still it's not overbought so there's still some place to go upwards for the momentum but you have to be really careful because the stochastic RSI is pointing to an uptrend uh, reversal so what happened when uptrend reversed so check this out here you have the um, the measurements right here you see so let's have a look so imagine that I'm gonna move my mouse right here and look at the top what's happening so it's going up it's going up and then the uh, stochastic RSI momentum reversed it went down and then again it kept on going down and then from here it went upwards you see and then it went up and down just a bit and then upwards it again and then look the stochastic RSI went was at the top here it dropped again like crazy so the stochastic RSI are telling us uh, one hell of an interesting story you gotta understand that when it's at the top if it's gonna uh, you know its next move it's probably going to be downward momentum so expect it to fall now, I don't know precisely you know until what price is gonna fall because you never know uh, how many people are going to support this but you also have the MACD uh, to have a look at when you are trading with the Bitcoin so you see currently the MACD mountain is peaked so if there's a trend reversal guys be careful it's probably going to drop um, you can actually see this right here you, uh, this is actually a bad example let's say here it's at the top and then slump from the top to the negative bottom so you see here look uh, where my mouse is you see it was the top of the small mountain and then it went through the negative until it went through the positive uh, sorry through uh, the whole negative um, space here until it reached another peak and then the peak reversed and you get a lot of buys right here so this is what happens the price it went all the way from this price right here at 30 to uh, 40k this is what you're seeing here for the MACD so the MACD's indicators are very, very powerful for you guys uh, to figure out what's going on. So let me just create a nice little uh, simulation for you guys so that we have a look at what happens with the Bitcoin if it's actually going to drop or if it's going to uh, explode. So I'm using Flipchain here, the uh, demo workspace that I've created for you guys. And I'm going to use uh, the Binance exchange with the Bitcoin uh, against the USDT. So actually, I'm going to choose the USDT against the Bitcoin. It's going to be easier. BTC, there you go. And this is going to be the BTC uh, bull run demo. Okay. So once this is created, I'm going to go ahead and, and add a flip to the chain. So imagine that I am uh, selling it right now. So if I am selling it right now today, so for now, you can see that the price is oscillating, the price is moving around. Um, so as the price goes up, well, it tells me that I'm at a loss. This is the live delta. It's just the price difference between my position and the current price range. So you see here, uh, the pr current price is like going lower. Uh, sorry. Well, anyways, it's going to oscillate for a really long time. So at some point, you can uh, decide for yourself, like, is it a good time to let go of the Bitcoin or to just uh, purchase it yet again so for now guys what i'm going to do is because i entered at a sell uh this is the short position so i was imagining that i was holding onto it at the top and i'm letting it go so imagine that i let it go and i let it fall to approximately uh 32 uh let's say 33,000, you know to play with round numbers so what would happen is that i would add here a buy position so i would buy it at 32 let's say thirty-three thousand dollars. all right because it might get there in the next week or so so as you can see i would gain um 15 of extra uh, bitcoin because the price is now lower so i can buy it at a discount and with the discount i have 15 percent extra bitcoin so that's the way it works and then when it bounces back imagine if it does and it probably will it bound it will bounce back to approximately like uh 35 34k so basically uh i would uh sell it off at approximately 34 uh, or 35k let's say i'm going to sell it off at 35k to make myself that nice little green and then boom i've got myself an extra six percent for a total of 21 percent in gains uh just by doing this nice little flip 
So instead of just sitting there at the same uh, price range, I would be uh, flipping it this way. So I'm selling it, buying it, selling, buying it, and always selling at a high price, buying at a low price, selling at a high price, buying at a low price. And remember, you can exit the market whenever you want to. You can just stand aside and let it fall so that you have your discount uh, for when you're going to come back. But this is really if you feel uh, very, very uh, bullish. Let me just delete this uh, workspace right here. Uh, so I'm going to, not workspace, I mean uh, this flip chain. So I'm going to go into demo and then this is uh, the Bitcoin because there's a little bit too many of them. So let's delete this one, the bull run, delete. All right, I'm going to create a new one, flip chain. Uh, it's a demo. Uh, let's see here. Yes, so I'm going to go with the USDT because I'm trading against the dollar with the BTC. Uh, and then this is going to be a bear run demo uh so actually you know what that's really weird but this was a uh <laughs> a bear run what i just told you so i'm sorry about the confusion guys just imagine we're now dealing with uh the bull because basically bulls think that it will, it will keep on blowing up um and you know what i'm not even gonna do a bull run because i don't think it's gonna pump more than what it is right now so i'm not gonna you know induce you into error um, I definitely think it's going to drop. So this is definitely a bearish scenario and it's uh, super realistic. I definitely think that's what's going to happen. Uh, so it's definitely probably going to f uh, fall down to 33k. And I'm not a financial advisor, guys. Always do your own research before you know, uh, doing your moves. Um, so this is really important, guys. Uh, and by the way, if you have any specific questions about any crypto assets, like any altcoins, you can visit uh, our Patreon page and support the channel. Uh, that way, uh, you'll also have access to the VIP uh, Crypto Intel Premium uh, discussion board here, where you can interact with other uh, people that really, really love crypto and that talk about crypto on a daily basis here. You can ask any questions uh, and you can also talk with me one-on-one -on -one, and you'll also be supporting the community and I would definitely appreciate that. So the link is down below. If you don't know how to use Slipchain, I also left a link down below for the tutorial. Um, you can follow me here on Flipchain and you can spy on my trades. Uh, so what I think, guys, is that it's going to definitely drop in price again. This is my preview. And then uh, I definitely think it's going to keep on oscillating like between um, between this price range and 35. So we're looking at a very nice run for all of the altcoins that are uh, on the market right now. So definitely tons of altcoins are going to blow up in uh in pricing guys so there's a lot of gains to be capped so yes again if you have any questions let me know all right and see you all in the next episode cheers